Hi everyone, I'm Davey and today's video is so much fun because it is a thrift with me and tips when you are out thrifting. So if you're new to my channel, give this video a thumbs up and hit that red subscribe button. I do videos on simple and thrifted living, DIYs and homemaking. And today I am jumping in with thanking Con Marie method for thrift stores being overloaded with stuff. So I have some tips while I'm out thrifting that I want to share with you. So the first thing that I recommend when you're out thrifting is to take time. It is not like a department store where things are on one rack in the same size. You just pull it out and you know what you need. You gotta look. Sometimes they're not in the right order, not in the right sizing. Um, and you just gotta look at things. And there's some stains on something. Some things are great. I found so many great name brand items this time when I was out thrifting um, that it was just incredible. Also look at the non-seasonal items so like it's winter right now so maybe look for some spring items because not a lot of people are looking for shorts and tank tops when it is zero degrees outside so look for those as well as um, since it is getting close to end of winter I did find some good fall or winter items as well that were in a two for one dollar rack so always try to find those deals the goodwill i went to was having a um, last minute two for one deal and so i got several lululemon shirts and some name brand clothing items that are actually going to work for after baby in the summer and i think they're going to be perfect for nice warm summer days but shop for those deals also shoes i found an awesome pair of winter boots people are getting rid of their winter boots now because um it's not like you're gonna buy them in the fall for the beginning of the season no scuffs nothing and they were an amazing price you know 650 at goodwills at the goodwill and i needed some flatter boots because my heeled black boots are hurting <laughs> when i'm out teaching especially being pregnant so look through all the shoes and they weren't even the right size section so you have to definitely scour the different areas to find good deals there are tons of new books my husband sourced many new books that he can resell because he's a seller on amazon and ebay and just definitely go back regularly too. That's another second tip. You need to go back often. Thrift stores bring new stuff out very, very regularly. And people obviously now are decluttering a lot more, which don't get me wrong, I love decluttering. I get rid of a ton of things myself. But um, then you can find better deals when there's more things there. So the Conmarie Method series, Netflix, thank you, has been giving us, who are thrifters, some great finds. So I also know the times when it's less busy. So the one I was at, it was mid-morning. That was a great time to go on a weekday. A lot of less people there. Don't go on a busy weekend. That's a holiday. That's definitely not a good time to go. Also check out when some thrift stores or consignment stores have their... Um, different colored tag deals. So some are maybe pink tag is 50% off one day, then the next day it's a green tag item. So just be aware of when thrift stores have their deals and their sales. Also check for items that aren't marked. So I did find an item that was unmarked, unpriced, and I just asked for it for a dollar and they were very willing to give it to me for a dollar. So make sure you can find some of those items and the organizing bins are very popular right now the uh, wicker baskets so definitely look through those furniture is another area to look through the goodwill i was currently at did not have great deals on furniture but sometimes when they have an old overload of items they mark it down a little bit lower so just definitely check out furniture you could find some good hampers maybe some good uh, side tables things like that that you might need and dishware. I do look for certain dishware sometimes to um, have on stock, like the Corel wear. I look for those because those are not breakable, great for when you have kids. And I look for those almost at every thrift store I go to and just check the prices and um, compare around on those. So those are many of my tips that I have for you. Put your thrifting tips down below if you have any in the comments. And um, again, if you want to go thrifting, don't be afraid to do so. I just always take items that I'm getting rid of when I go thrifting because I always have items to get rid of because then I can restock with newer, fresher things from the thrift store. 
Anyways, I hope you enjoyed this video and that it was helpful for you and that you can get out and do some thrifting here this week. All right, have a blessed and wonderful day. Bye.